Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today I want to do something totally different. I'm going to simulate extreme gravity fields with hydraulic press. And how that's going to work, you ask? Really simple as always, I'm going to say. Uh, we are going to weigh different items, how much they are going to weigh. Here in normal gravity, 1 g. And then we are going to just multiply that by the gravity fields that we are going to test. And what are the gravity fields that we are going to test? Uh, I thought that they have to be pretty high. Uh, first one is going to be gravity at surface of the sun. That's 28 g's. So 28 times more than here on the earth. And then after that, because that's not very much, I'm going to ramp things up quite fastly. And we are going to go to the highest possible gravity field that solid surface can have. And that's the surface of white dwarf star. And that's 100,000 g's. If you add any more mass and gravity, then it's going to collapse into neutron star. And on neutron star, like if you place something there, it's going to just turn into like neutron smash. It's not going to be like any regular material like atoms and molecules and stuff like that. After that, it's going to be just like smaller particles in like just random mess. Does it make any sense? So sun and the white dwarf are like great tests here. Okay, here we go with the first uh, test subject. It's a, a marshmallow. Its mass is six grams. Six times 30 would be 210. So let's go like 200 grams. Then that's pretty close. And I have this science panel here. Oh. Yeah, it's about here. Nothing much going to happen. Of course, I have heard that it's a bit hot in the sun, so the marshmallow might go in fire, but we are ahead of that. We are going to do these experiments during the night. Okay, next target on sun, Papa Papa, and its mass is 100 grams, so we are going to push uh, 2.8 kilos to uh, mimic the surface of the sun. Okay, it looks pretty flat. I think it's not going to survive the white dwarf star, but at the sun, during the night, pretty okay. Okay, now we found ourselves on the surface of the white dwarf, dwarf star, yeah, whatever. And uh, we have the same like heat problem here, but luckily this is like a uh, star that has died, so we have to wait just this amount for it to cool down. So pretty soon we can do this experiment also in real life. There is also some like other small problems like the fact that the, all the heavier elements sink to the center of the thing. But uh, I think we don't think about it too much. This is like just funny thought experiment. So here we go. Marshmallow is going to weigh 600 kilos. So that's already pretty much. Okay, that's like slightly over, but not much. So it's going to be 2D marshmallow there. Okay, then golf ball, and this is going to weigh 4.5 tons. seems to survive. Yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. It would be like really flat. <laughs> it wouldn't be ball, it would be golf disc. So it's a different sport. Also I assume oh, that the... Uh, golf. <laughs> yeah, it's a frisbee golf. <laughs> yeah, people are like way ahead here. Yeah. They're training for the future. This is going to be funny. 
This is going to weigh 10 tons. So that's, that's a lot. A bit over, but it, it, it was pretty. A bit? <laughs> Just slightly over, but I can, I can go back in time. I wouldn't, say, <laughs> I wouldn't say that there's a much difference. It's going to be a pancake. Okay, this is going to be a bit more accurate demonstration. I think that the frame of the lock might like be okay, but I calculated that the shackle weighs like, how much did it weigh? Was it like 60 grams? No, 125 grams, it's 12 millimeter, and I estimated the length, and calculated from there. So, at this 100g gravity, that's going to turn out to 12 tons. So, would that gravity be so much that the shackle would sink into the lock? Let's find out. I think it's pretty close. I think it's, I think it's like gone. Yeah, that's quite extreme. This is something that would really happen. The suckle is so heavy that the lock cannot hold it anymore. I'm not sure would even the like lock frame explode like into pancake. Uh, we don't have the safety box, so I'm not brave or stupid enough to try it out. But at least the suckle would like sink through the lock. Okay, then the last experiment. This mass is one kilo, so it's going to be 100 tons. So it's going to be pretty flat. This would happen probably quite fast. We cannot go more, it's going to start to bend. <laughs> yeah, so we only manage like small white dwarf star, like super small. Mm. Yeah, but uh, that would be like, somebody could probably calculate how fast that would like Actually, it would be like really, really fast because you can calculate it's like the gravity is the same as the like surface acceleration. So here is the time and it would hit the sur surface quite fast. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's quite, quite a drop. And here you can see like how it started to go wrong. And I think this is like simple crushes, but the like all the science and like math and the like situation behind the experiments made it like way more interesting. And if you liked the video, please let me know and I can like come up with some other weird scenarios on here or on our Beyond the Press channel. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.